Beer makers, the brooms out for the Yankees. Yankees have not had a home run to the cleanup spot in 54 games. Top first, runner on two out, and there's the four hitter. Alex Rodriguez off Chris Capuano, and that was big. Almost turned the lights out in the middle of the park. That's how far it was. 399th of a square, 2 nothing. Yankees. Bottom five, Mike Mussina pitching to Brady Clark. And Clark appears to go around. First baseman, first base umpire, excuse me, Larry Vanover says he did. First baseman, Tino Martinez says, oh, I think he did. Then he and Judd, they get in a big old fight. And eventually, Vanover, he's going to throw him out. Look at it again. Hey, you know what? Sometimes you get homered, right? Joe Torre doesn't like it. He's going to get tossed just like Tino did. And it's a shame because they're not going to be in the dugout to see A-Rod come up in the eighth inning in a 10-3 game. A-Rod, you know, 399 homers is good, but 400? Oh, that'll get you a Yankee. -ography. That will get you a Yankeeography. A-Rod's 400th career homer, second of the game. He's the youngest player in Major League history to hit 400. A-Rod, how you feel about that little bit of history? Well, it's obviously a very special day for me, uh, especially to do it in a, in a win that we needed uh, most desperately. And, uh, you know, just to do it with this uniform, with the New York Yankees uniform on, to me is uh, something that I'll never forget. He speaks the truth there. Yankees win a 12-3, but finish up a Midwestern roadie through KC, Mini, and Milwaukee, just two and seven. A-Rod's two homer night. Milwaukee gives him 400. Three hour delay to start, but once they got going, David Wells got it going. He gave up. Just four hits in eight shutout innings. Speeds up the delivery a little bit there and gets Albert Pujols to fly out to right in the fourth. Bottom seven, Red Sox up 3-0 after a David Ortiz home run. Reggie Sanders, Bill Miller, John Olerud with a great scoop over there in as a defensive replacement for Ortiz. Remember, no DH. Ortiz was playing first. Cardinal shut out for just the second time this season. Edgar Renteria, the former Cardinal, a solo shot is fifth. The Red Sox salvage one. They win this 4-0. The rain delay took two hours and 56 minutes. The game took two hours and 48 minutes. The 79 We Are Family World Series reunion. Steve Blass, Manny Sangui, and honored before the game. Blass, after the 72 season, major control problems. They called it Steve Blass disease. Just couldn't find the plate. Well, Wednesday, apparently, it's still catching. <laughs> oh, Manny Sangui. Look at Manny. No shot. All right, he's just kidding around. There it is. So Rafael Nadal's, uh, Nadal's pants on. <laughs> Top eight, three nothing Pirates. Miguel Tejada, solo shot is 17th. He was five for 10 in the three game series. Bottom eight, Rob Makoviak knocks one up the middle. This will score two. Makoviak was three for four, drove in four. 6 1 Pittsburgh. The Pirates have won seven of 10. It's the first time Baltimore has lost a road series since August of last season. Facing Brian Schneider. Two run shot is third, 4 2 Washington. Glenn allowed four runs on seven hits in four. Bottom six, two on for Ryan Church, who homered earlier, the reigning NL Rookie of the Month. Down the right field line. It's a triple. Church, a double shy of the cycle. He was four for five, seven two nationals. They've won a season high six in a row. They are a game and a half up in the NL East. Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Atlanta Braves of Norcross. Mike Social's club chance to sweep it here. Rafael for call. That's going deep, it's going deep, it's going deep, it's going into the glove of Jeff Devan, and then off the glove, and he smashes his head into the wall. Off the third with a triple. Yeah, we're checking to make sure we got all our parts, all our chicklets, you see. There's a ball, okay. Ball, off wall, hits him in the head. Wall hits him in the head. None of it's good for him. He would leave bloody nose, broken nose, yikes. Top fifth, Tim Hudson pitching to Garrett Anderson. Hudson. Having some trouble with some cramping. Gets hot down there in the ATL. So yeah. he was sweating a lot, had some cramping problems. Stayed in for the moment. Anderson, though, lines it down there. Air on the first baseman. Steve Finley ties it to four Hudson. Had to leave the game because of all the cramping. The Angels would go on to win and sweep it. 8 4 is the final. Astros and Mets at Shea. Top one, Victor Zambrano facing Todd Self. Hang on, Mike Piazza. Foul tip off the left wrist. Piazza taken out of the game. Sent for x-rays. They were negative. He's day-to-day -day with a bruised left wrist. Replaced by Ramon Castro. Bottom one, two on, two out. Castro facing Brandon Backey. At, oh, Ramon Castro. Double scoring Mike Cameron. The Mets are up 1-0. But that was the only run allowed by Backey despite walking a career-high six in six innings. Top six, it was 2-1 Houston. Victor Zambrano struggling. Jason Lane doubles into right center. Morgan Edsberg comes in. The Astros win 4-1. Just Houston's sixth road win all season. The Mets lose for only the fourth time in their last 12 games.
Rangers Phillies. Robinson Tejeda making his first career start. Has some relief appearances. Phil, so you know what? If we get 12 outs from this guy, that'll be enough. How about better? Rod Barajas goes down five innings, two hits, no earned run, 4K. Very solid work. Bottom six, Chris Young pitching to Pat Burl. Rhymes with Pearl, hits the Pearl in the left. Kenny Lofton comes home. Tomas Perez, Tomas Perez motoring home, and the Phillies take a 2 0 lead. Top seven went out. Hank Blaylock's at first. Richard Hidalgo right to Chase Utley. And we're going to go over and double off on Hank. Phillies win it 2 0. They also acquire pitcher Ugi Urbina from the Tigers for Casito Polanco. Over the last 13, hoping the D train could get them back on the tracks against the Mariners. Don Trell trying to become the major's first 10 game winner. He went six and two third, gave up four runs on 10 hits, struck out six, including Richie Sexton twice there. Fifth inning, Carlos Delgado. Three run shot is 12th. He was two for three, drove in all five Marlins runs. Mariners down 5-4 in the eighth. It's Mike Morse. To right, Juan and Cardacion. Look at him go get it. Top play nominee, and he's over the wall. One more look. The Marlins win 5-4. Florida snaps a four-game losing streak. And yes, Dontrell Willis is the Major League's first 10-game winner this season. Twins at the backs. Johan Santana, 19 and 2 in his last 27 starts, dating back to 2004. Let's take an extended look at the game notes, sure. shall we? He's 10 and 1 in his career in interleague games. 14 and 0, 1.95 ERA in his last 16 road starts. Of course, he works on the per diem there, probably likes the room service, and he leads the majors with 105 strikeouts. He's tough to hit. He has a Cy Young 2-0. Royce Clayton now in the fifth. Jose Cruz, no. Luis Gonzalez, 95 mile an hour gas. Santana, hey, Kelly today, congratulations. You hit the ball for a double play. Santana's second career shutout. Twins win a 10 0. Santana Stewart, some of that offense with his ninth home run. Express on Blue Jays Cubs before the game. Injured Mark Pryor did some long toss, and Kerry went through a simulated game as well. Hopefully, both those guys doing well. Roy Halliday. Fails to earn his 10th win. Sergio Mitre there, the pitcher, drives in a run for the Cubs 2-0. White Sox, Rockies, Frank Thomas, that's deep, gone, can't catch it, all those things. Touch all four bases. White Sox win again, 15-5, 21 games above 500. And the Royals, Giants, Tony Graffinino, RBI single. The Royals are a winner. However, San Francisco does have some good news. It deals with Barry Bonds. Here's Pedro Gomez. 19 brides diving through cake. It's the Sports Center top 10 plays from Wednesday. Number 10, Blue Jays, Cubs. Aaron Hill, a tremendous catch over there. Let's see that one more time. But the Cubs won the game 2-0 in Wrigley. Speaking of 19 brides driving through wedding cake, there it is, New York City at number nine. It's the I Want to Marry Steve Berthume contest, and the ladies are going at it. There you see, actually, they're, they're going for 50K. Which, in, in that case, I imagine you'd marry them. It's much huh? better, exactly. <laughs> Plus the cake leftovers. Mariners, Marlins, number eight, Juan and Cardacio. Oh, this in support of Dontro Willis. The D train got his 10th win, and the Marlins meet the Mariners. Number seven, Green Bay Packers minicamp during practice. Packers decide to play a little dodgeball. Coach Mike Sherman organizing the fall. Oh, look at that. Team captain by Donald Driver is the winner. Nobody's wearing Vera Wang there. How'd you like to see Nitschke playing Dodge? <laughs> that would be good. Be the end. Number six, Willie Mopane. You two home runs on his own bobblehead night, including the walk-off, and the Reds win over the D-Rays. Excellent. Number five, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. 15th annual U.S. Mail Boat Jumper Tryout. So you jump off, you exchange the mail, and then you get back on. And then and then if you do it so well, you just, there you go. Uh, I, my Sports Illustrated was in there. Number four, A's Nationals, Nick Johnson steals second right under Marco Scudero. Look at the slide here. Goes five hole on him. Scudero avoids the tank. Number three, Brewers Yankees. A Rod, as we mentioned, 400th career home run. First Yankee, you know, four Yankees have done it. Uh, he's the first to have done it uh, on a team with a losing record. 29 years, 316 days. Congratulations, A Rod, quite a feat. Number two, U.S. in Panama World Cup qualifier. Look at American goalie Casey Keller all over the field. Kick save and ability. Kick saves and ability. Unbelievable. The U.S. Uh, beat Panama 3 0 in Panama. Nil. Number one, Padres Indians, Khalil Green was something incredible. Let's all watch together, shall we? Sure. Khalil Green, what a play from a fair hand. Incredible double play. How did he do that? 
Well, he ranged to his left, dived, got the ball, and flipped it to second. So he did Sports it Center's top 10 plays. Brought to you by. Great win and a sweep of the A's. That's Lamont Hernandez. He threw 150 pitches in his previous start. First and second in the third. Jason Kendall right back to him. 1-6-3. A's in danger of losing their 11th straight road game. They're loaded in the third. Nick Johnson. Gets a hold of one. Mark Kotze on the run. It's not there. It's a three-run double. The Nationals take a 3-0 lead. Top eight, 127th pitch for LeVon Hernandez. Remember that Nick Johnson guy we just saw? Yeah. Here he is again. Look at that tremendous catch on Don Johnson. Defensive support for Hernandez. Pull out only two runs on eight hits and eight. Top nine A's down a run. Second and third, two outs. Chad Cordero facing Bobby Crosby, and he gets him. His 17th save. The Nationals win 4-3. They sweep the A's. They've won seven in a row. LeVon Hernandez wins his eighth straight decision. Andy Pettit, Tom Glavin, rubber game at Shea, Astros and Mets. Glavin running into trouble in the seventh. 2-1 New York, Brent Hausmus. Doubles to right, this will tie it at two. And this is news, only a second hit in 37 career at-bats against Tom Glavin. Next up, Craig Biggio. He will pinch hit for Andy Pettit. Off Glavin's leg, Hausmus scores. Houston goes up 3-2. Glavin pitched pretty well, though. Gave up three runs on seven hits in seven. Bottom eight, let Mike Cameron go. Adam Everett. Cameron going to beat the throw. Nice hustle. Kaz Matsui scores 3-3, so we go to extras. The Astros open the 11th inning with three straight hits off Heath Bell. Two on, nobody out. Morgan Ensberg. Oh, yanked. Ground rule double. Houston's going to win this one 6-3. So the Astros take two of three at Shea. It's uh, just their second road series win of the season. Looking to sweep the Rangers. The team's donating $18,000 for each home run hit for the benefit of prostate cancer research. Top one, David Lucci gets him started with a solo shot, his 10th, and right there, 18 grand. Nice job on nothing Rangers. Two batters later, Mark Teixeira, a two-run shot, his 15th, and now we're up to $36,000, three nothing. Bottom two, Pat Burrell, solo home on his 11th. The toad board's up to 54 large, it's 3-1 Texas. Next up, Jim Tomey. Solo shot. Everybody's getting in on the act. Tommy's fourth. $72,000. Still bottom two. Todd Pratt. Two-run home run. His third. He was three for four. Four three Phillies. We're up to 90 grand. Top three to Shara again. His 12th. He was three for four. Second of the game for him. Ties it at four. We're over the $100,000 mark. Burrow in the fifth. His second of the game. 12th of the year. Seventh in the game. $126,000. Ninth inning, New Philly, Ugi Urbina in to close with a 10-4 lead, Mark DeRosa. And Ugi, well, he, you know, he's just not used to the new uniform, that's all. His second of the season, a two-run shot. $144,000 for prostate cancer research, 10-6. Urbina walks to Lucci, and the fans are already booing Ugi. It's his first game. Charlie Manuel, get him out of there. Go to Billy Wagner. Welcome to the ball club. <laughs> After allowing a two-run double, Wagner gets Hank Blaylock, his 17th save and 19 chances. Phillies win 10-8. They sweep Texas. The Phils have won 12 of their last 14. And with season high, five games over 500. Back to San Antonio, NBA Finals Game 1. Giants are trying to rehab their play. Losers of 11 to 12 before playing the Royals Thursday. That's Pedro Feliz, whose Bonds replacement left. Scorching one down left field line in the sixth. Two runs in. Giants scoring five runs in the frame. Top nine. Royals down 9-7. They're loaded. Angel Barroa facing Tyler Walker. And Barroa. Grounds to Alfonso with third. Steps on the bag. The force. And that ends the ball game as the Giants go on to win it by a final count of nine. All right. You waited patiently, and now here's your reward. The top plays from Thursday, number 10, A's versus Nationals. And Ryan Church with some nifty glove work out there. Look at him come and get it. Church with the nice defensive play in the outfield. And that's win the game 4-3 to three left the church day in. I got an even better catch, and it's not even by a paid professional. It's, it's by a Met fan, and look at this grab right there. Good seats right along the line, and Shea reaches out. Go get it. Shea, it ain't so. Unfortunately, the Mets lost. Arena Bowl coming up, so the AFL Mascot Skills Challenge taking place in Las Vegas. A little tug of war. The Dallas mascot, Kid Coyote, working the hula hoop out there. You know, we shouldn't be telling people this, because after all, what happens in Vegas? That's exactly. Stays in Vegas. 
shouldn't be showing you. That's right. It's all secret. Number seven, Rangers Phillies. Bobby Abreu, Mark Teixeira, tremendous play. But the Phils won 10 to eight. Philadelphia's won 12 of its last 14 games. And despite this play, they sweep the Rangers. Let's go back to the A's and Nationals for some more glove work. This time, Nick Johnson, the great diving uh, catch there to uh, Rob Rolls, Damian Rolls, Johnson with the national defense at first. Number five, the Pistons and the Spurs, Chauncey Billups on the break. Fakes out Robert Ory. Oh, he pretended. See what he did there? Does. Yeah, at 25 points, but Stephen A. Smith wasn't too happy with the Pistons' play, as we've seen earlier in the show. That's true. Double raise and the Reds, Travis Lee with a great diving catch. Then he rolls it to second for the double play. Have a look at it. Great effort by Lee. Not a great effort by the double raiser. Lose 14 to 5. Number three, Levon Hernandez up for the Nationals. Bobby Crosby, the diving stop. Unfortunately, the A's were swept in Washington. The Nationals have won seven in a row, and they got a good healthy lead in the NL East. Back to the Astros and Mets. Jose Reyes. Excellent diving catch at shortstop. Have a look as he flashes a little glove for the Mets. The Mets do lose the game, though. As Steve mentioned, 6 to 3. Here's our number one play, Webb. Webster, New York, Matt Sheehan of Greece, Athena High, double pumps a game winner with three ticks to go. Oh. Yeah, Rochester area players win the AAU championship 56-53. Matt Sheehan, you're the number one player.